Not only was Sorrento beautiful in itself, but it was a great location to use to see the rest of Amalfi Coast, as well as Herculaneum and Pompeii. We took a ferry from Naples to Sorrento. The ferries are really nice, and there's always cafes and restaurants at the docks. And we found Sorrento to be not only beautiful, but highly underrated. And people have lived in Sorrento since the 8th century BCE. Only 16,000 people live in Sorrento. It was a very charming small town on the coast. Megan and I hadn't been married that long and the hotel thought that it was more like our honeymoon so they decorated with these red hearts and confetti. Funny but cute and we were thankful that they were so hospitable to us. The lady who worked there treated us like an honored guest and gave us her cell phone number in case anything were to happen during our visit to Sorrento. Most of the hotel rooms in Italy don't have a second floor but I thought that it was pretty cool so I thought I would document it. She even gave us a bottle of red wine and a bottle of Prosecco as a gift. Our balcony overlooked the shops and the back streets of Sorrento, and that's what we found in the city center. It was shops and restaurants. Outside restaurants and shops, we didn't really see any businesses there. They were all on the back streets. This is the name of the hotel we stayed at, so that if you're in Sorrento, you can stay there too. Now, if you saw my video on Florence, one of the things I talk about is this theme of if you blink, you might miss something. Everywhere you go, there's some kind of artistic expression. Number one, take a stroll through the city center and the main street. The main street name is Corso Italia. Now one of the things we noticed when we were in Sorrento and we started seeing all across the Amalfi Coast and we asked some of the locals about it is lemons and oranges are highly celebrated there, especially lemons. In the north and central Italy, wine is promoted and celebrated because that's where all the vineyards are. And the reason that is, is because the vines don't grow as well in the south. But what does grow well in the south is citrus trees. So everywhere we went, there was this huge emphasis on lemons. So number two, visit the side streets and you'll see lemons everywhere. There's not many and you can see it all in one day. Sorrento is a small town and only 16,000 people live there. People making spritz on the streets was something we saw a lot. And you could even get freshly squeezed pomegranate juice. That's that's good. I've never tasted it anything like that before. It's really good. And number three, eat at a lemon tree themed restaurant. Now Megan had read articles about these restaurants that celebrated lemon trees and they would build lemon trees to be the canopies of the restaurant. And if you get on Instagram, there's wonderful photos of places like this. It's not hard to find. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, hit the like button. And also I'll be doing more travel videos in the future of Capri. Positano. And our last few days in Rome. I just published the video in Florence if you want to go look at it. And subscribe to my channel and you'll see some more videos that I'll make about travel in the future.